Keep it guys, David here from Doc Fitness and today I'm going to grab Coach Case to run through some three fundamental movements that you can pop into play with your training for, for basically for those nice torn legs and a nice bum as the ladies like to put it and just to know how to get that shape, how to get that muscle tone so you can actually start making progressions in your training. Typical exercises you can do based off those movements and based off where you are as well as when you start out compared to if you're more advanced. And then obviously the technique comes into play as well, which this never even gets looked at by people as well. Like the main downfall is people don't know the movements, you don't know the movements, you don't know like a template of exercise or something. So what a lot of people do is they stay stuck in this bracket here without really basing it off any like macro level of movements and without basing off special techniques as well to really get the most out of your training. So for the movements we're going to look at is the squatting pattern, a hip hinge pattern, and some single leg stuff. First up is our squatting pattern. The goblet squat is the easiest way to learn that. And if you're more advanced, you, you don't have to, you're not limited just to a goblet squat. There's loads of different variations. You can do this with the barbell, and from there it's about loading and progressing that barbell over time. Number two is a RDL, which is based off a hip hinge movement. So for this one, it's all about kind of like, think of, imagine if you were parking your bum back to the wall behind you while keeping a nice neutral back, and you're keeping a slight bend in that knee. So when you're going down, you should feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings and you're exploding back forward with that. And again, similar to the squat, you're not limited to a kettlebell if you're a bit more advanced, you can move on to the barbell, and this one's called a Romanian deadlift, barbell Romanian deadlift. So again, same principles here, you're shoving your hips back towards that wall, hence the term hip hinge. So another sample exercise in the hip hinge series is the glute bridge. Again, you can start with a dumbbell on these over your hips and you're pushing your heels hard to that floor, extend the hips fully in that hip hinge pattern and you're contracting your glutes hard. Again, working the legs and glutes hard for this one. The last one then in this series is the single leg stuff for really driving home the legs is the split squat. So for this one, you're in a wide stance and if you think of your knees in two 90 degree bends as you go down and up and you're pushing to that front heel, that's what we mean by that split squat. And again, the way Kate's holding the kettlebell here is a lovely little way to learn that. Again, you can advance the split squat a bit more too by using a bench or a elevated plate, for example, like Kate is doing here. So when we talk about techniques then, for this one I want you to focus on two little things. Squeezing your legs and quads hard at the top of the rep and squeezing your arse as hard as you possibly can. Like look the way Kaylee's going down slowly, you can see the legs are working hard than way up. She's pushing her feet hard to the floor, coming up and squeezing her arse hard at the top. The RDL hip hinge movement is the exact same kind of principles as the squat. When you're in the top position, we'll say you're squeezing your arse as hard as you can, you're squeezing your stomach as hard as you can. As you go down, you're feeling the tension on the back of those legs, you're feeling the stretch coming in the hamstrings, and you're pushing through the heels hard on the way back up. So when you do that right, you're coming up and you're squeezing your arse hard at the top. So you're making full use of those techniques and you're actually working the exercise for what it's meant to do. So a technique little tip for the split squat is think about screwing your feet hard to that floor. So see the way Kate's screwing her legs in? And when she goes down and up then in that split squat, she's keeping that tension on. She's not letting go, so the legs are firing hard the whole time up and throughout. And again, that's a point a lot of people miss. This isn't just for the ladies either, men you can put that to play too, but it's not rocket science really when you break it down when you kind of know what you're at. But again, if you're ever unsure with this stuff, you are better off getting out of the cold so you can see those kind of finer details with the and stuff because it's all when I go to look inside something, but when you're executing it, it's a whole different ball game. But hopefully anyway, you can take something from this video and if you like it, tag any friends that might, might want to hear it as well. And if you want to subscribe to our YouTube channel, you'll see more of those videos about weekly. And yeah, check you soon. Bye bye.